Okay, screen look. Oh my god, the hit count. That's it. It's game over for me. We're done here. What is going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. Now, I know I'm a little bit late. I am. I'm not going to deny that because the whole RPM 40 and then this, and I actually think this came out like two days after the RPM. And the reason why I didn't do the review on this is just really because of the type of device it is. Devices like this are not something that I really like to use. This is more along the lines of what Brie would use. And she used that RPM until I did that review about the dot mouth-to-lung RTA. They're considering this not, not, not a pod-based system, but a pod mod. Okay. Oh, there's so much to discuss. This is the thing. This is where we are right now. Not a lot of people are going out going to buy the hobbyist type of setups. They want something that's portable, that's easy to use, that you could fill up and just be rocking and rolling without too much worrying about leakage or having to build something or put a coil inside of it. Although I do believe you put a coil inside of this just like you did the RPM. Now, I don't have my original RPM, but Bree does have hers, so I'll be able to compare these on a side-by-side. Not a lot of times will we see pod-style devices or all-in-one with an actual digital display, especially something that's colored, because it's going to jack up the price. And it's very difficult to sell products that are higher priced that are literally, you're going to use this for about six months and then throw it away. Whenever you have anything with a LiPo, the best thing to remember is it's just like a LiPo battery for an RC car or a LiPo battery for a drone or just a LiPo battery in general. There's only so many charges you're going to get on that and then you have to throw it away. Or you could swap it out if you were so inclined. However, a lot of these devices are not to be swappable battery-esque type of devices. They're literally for someone that is just getting into vaping, number one, or number two, somebody that wants something stealthy but uses something like this. There, there may be a third bracket there, but I'm not sure what that is. And everybody was comparing this to the RPM, so I guess I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Well, maybe not compare the two respectively, just which one is better machined and the type of quality of it versus the other. The problem I have with rating devices like this is there's not a whole lot to rate. Pod styles I stay away from. I really do not consider these pod-based systems. I consider them all-in-one jammies, like an Ego AIO. So without further ado, let's bring it down. Let me show you everything inside of the box. Flip it. Vinci Mon Pod, activate inhaling with big cloud. Really good English, very nice. You know what I think is funny is how they have this little sticker on here, ECC Award of 2019. Something worth mentioning is if you did go to this, basically all it was was just pod style systems. That's it. I mean, there were a couple little companies here and there, but Expos Now versus Expos two years ago are two very different entities in itself. Let me zoom into some of these features they want to factor in here. E-liquid and Nick salt compatible and visible juice level. Very, very nice. Two-week usage record. Why is it only two weeks? What happens after two weeks? Does it reset? And then their gene chip, carbon fiber color. This is the screen. Really not a whole lot of color going on on the side of the box. You got your quick reader code on the other side. Some of their social media. And then on the back side of the box, go ahead and give that a freeze frame for you. They definitely should have renamed this to something else. Activate inhaling with big cloud? Wh what? It's like missing three words. PNP.8, which I'm assuming is their Nixalt, and then .3 mesh, which would be their regular. On the bottom of the box, you got your scratch and sniff a rainbow sprinkles. Flavor and scented with a little bit of screwdriver scentage in there. Carbon fiber color. Let's open it. Inside the box, you get a little pamphlet which shows you how to use direct lung or mouth to lung. 
So your direct lung is going to be 0.3, and it looks like they're doing something different with the top section. Turning the airflow, maybe? I don't know what that is. Is that supposed to be the plug? So the plug needs to go towards the front for it to be direct lung. And mouth the lung, you flip it. That's unique. Can't say I've ever seen that before. And then, of course, we have the device. Wow, that reminds me a lot of the RPM. We'll go over that shortly. Your two coils in the bottom of the box, you're going to get another box, which is basically going to have your USB and probably just some other reading peripheral material. So, you know, that whole poop situation. User manual, silica gel packet. Make sure you don't eat this if you want to survive. Micro USB to charge and update the firmware. You know, about the update and firmware, I don't see any companies doing this, so whatever. Gene chip piece of paper. Warranty card. And then a Vupu gift card. Here's a little present for you. You get a little prize code. Go ahead and use that. I'm sure somebody's going to do it before somebody else. So, yeah, there's that. This is the coil we're going to use, the 0.332 to 40 watts. See, this is what I was saying about pod style system. Pod styles are usually higher resistance and really, really low power like this one. Really not a whole lot in the box. I could dig that. These are the two side by side. The RPM is the one on the left and the Vinci is the one on the right. You can see that is a little bit taller in height. As far as length is concerned, this is shorter than the RPM. However, the pod sticks out more than it does the RPM. So a comparison between the two, the Vinci's on the right, the RPM's on the left. Fire button, obviously you could see a square versus round, horizontal versus vertical. It's a little bit shorter in height, but the pod itself makes it look a little bit larger than the RPM. And I don't, I don't know, two millimeters? Extremely similar the way that they feel in the shape. However, I will tell you that the Vinci does have more of a, I don't want to say high end, just a nicer feel to it. It does have that mirror polish though, which I'm not a big fan of, and that is not real carbon fiber. SSX Mini, they pass it to test. And there you go, that's a device. So we're just going to take this little pot section out, and what they want me to do to go direct lung, so right now I'm assuming it's in mouth to lung there, this plug would go here. Ah, look at that. That is really friggin' cool. So you have your airflow here. You see that? So you have your cutout goes on the bottom versus over here. It's, it's smaller. That is unique. You have a micro USB on the very bottom. No idea why it's not USB-C. But if you are going to use this device and charge it, you're going to have to lay it down. I'm not a big fan of that. Should have put something on the side so you could stand it up. It's short enough to where it won't actually teeple topple over. Coil in the bottom is going to be press fit. Super sexy. Fill it up. You got a little plug here. I would, I'm going to tell you right now, just by looking at this versus the RPM, I feel like this is better quality. Vupu Vinci. Oof, set the time. How about that? Okay, screen look. Oh my God, the hit count. That's it. It's game over for me. We're done here. All the way up to 40 watts, max power, even shows a little icon of the coil. What? Press the two together. You got your little puff counter, puff resetter. To lock the screen, you're going to press the up and the fire button. And then you could still fire it. No. To actually lock the, okay, to lock the device, press up and fire. That will lock it so you cannot fire it. And then to unlock it, do the same thing again. Apples and people. Apple pen. What the hell does AP mean? Attack police? Don't cut that out, Jay. Fuck around and get locked up. Jay saying to beat up police officers. I love this show. I love this show. <laughs> so the mode that it's in right now is you can either automatic fire it by inhaling or P, I'm assuming P for press, one, two, three, and then now that's just for the button, one, two, three, that's just for you to inhale. So it's nice to be able to do all three options. I really do not think Smoke had that inside of their device. On the bottom, you got your resistance, your voltage, and then the time. I Wow. Oh, man. 
the quality of this feels much, much better. I do like this option of direct lung or mouth to lung. You can see it did set the power ready to 35 watts. And once again, that is the Vupu Vinci. And you can see my fingerprints all over this already. So without further ado, let's bring it back on top. Back on top with the Vupu Vinci Pod Mod Jimmy Jam Flip Flop. All right, 35 watts with the stock coil. Here we go. Wow. I, I don't know. That sat for about two minutes. Let's see if automatic mode works. No button press. That's impressive. That, that, that is impressive. I'm not going to lie. Okay. This might be the actual first pod style system like I actually, re well, no, I like the Lost Vapor Ryan series. They were pretty good. Let's try to change the airflow to that other option without even having to swap the coil. Ugh. Yeah. That did it. Okay, so you don't necessarily need to swap out the coil. If we're gonna compare this to the RPM, there's no there's no doubt in my mind the Vupu is better, without a doubt. Let me explain why. Now, the RPM screen is really nice. You know, it looks, it's gotta turn on. It looks really nice, it does. But in order to get a different style of hit, you have to swap out the coil. Let's just say you're out and about, you forget that you don't have a coil, and then you're like, okay, what am I gonna do? I wanna get more of a mouth to lung type of hit. You just kinda take the top off, flip it around, put it back down. Super, super simple. And that to me is innovative, especially when that's in a pod cartridge, like an empty one. They're both very similar in the amount of power. They're both very similar with the, the coils that they have. It's really going to come down to how open of a hit do you want. You can't dial it down with like some kind of spinner or some type of spinning adjustment. It's basically just putting your finger over to restrict the type of hit on the RPM versus this. You can actually take it out and put it in. Now, all the way open, you hear it's not as smooth as what this is. And for some reason, it just keeps going back down to 35 watts. There it goes. Oh, because I took it out and put it back in. Does this even have a hit count? Oh, it does. It does. On the Smoke RPM 40, you could change the theme and how it looks. I can't figure out how to do that with this. There's something about being able to swap out the pod, like the type of hit by flipping it really, really, really makes me like this device. I know it's something so arbitrary, but it's so important to me when you incorporate something as meticulous as that. Why don't these pod systems have like little things that go over the airflow? So if you put this in your pocketbook or your little jammy bag across the front or in your pocket or wherever, there's not a plug. When you get disposables, they have that in there, but people don't really use reuse those. So why not have those in these or come with one? Or you could do one better and make it so it's already sealed up. And when you inhale it, it opens. Ta-da! Sort of like a sub ohm tank, how it's got that little piece of clear thing. You stick something in, it opens it up, and it lets you fill it up. Why not do that? I know. It's silly. You don't really need to do it because it doesn't really matter. I don't know about rating this, but I'm going to assume that I rated the RPM. Mere assumption alone. So if I had to rate this pod or all-in-one system on a 0 to 10, 6.5. Almost want to say 7. I, I don't know what else to really look for. To reset the puffs is easy. You just press the fire and the down button or, or to lock the mod. To change the type of modes, like you could either do a regular inhale or press the button. Multiple options for a super simple device. So if you're looking at quitting smoke and you want something that's super portable, that's easy to swap out, let's just say you start out with mouth to lung, you could do it with the same pod without having to buy other coils. I do recommend 
recommend running the 0.8 if you want to run higher resistance and a little bit less power, also restricting the airflow. So it's going to give more of that throat hit versus this, the way that it's set up now, is really designed like a Lost Vape Orion. So all in all, it's a really solid device for what this is, and it's by far better than the RPM. And I've kept it real. Have you?